The Affordable Care Act faces a new legal challenge today. It does. A three-judge panel is going to hear oral arguments in New Orleans on whether the health care law is constitutional. Texas and 17 other states are going to argue it's not in hopes of striking it down. KXN's Candy Rodriguez live in the newsroom to tell us what the future could look like for Central Texans under the, who are insured under the current health care plan. Good morning. Hey, John, good morning. It's been almost a decade since former President Barack Obama signed the Affordable Care Act into law. And if it goes away, 1.7 million Texans could lose their health insurance. Since 2014, the nonprofit Foundation Communities has helped 30,000 people sign up for ACA. Officials say the law's been vital for thousands of Central Texas Texans who simply don't have health insurance and do not qualify for Medicaid or Medicare. It also protects people with pre-existing conditions. Those at the Texas Public Policy Foundation, though, say the Affordable Care Act is simply too expensive. Today, their lawyers are in New Orleans ahead of this afternoon's court hearing. They represent two people who have ACA and say it's been a burden. While Foundation Communities wants the health care law to stay in place, TPPF wants it dismantled nationwide. That there is an injury to people like our clients. You know, fairly healthy people who may have to delay other purchases or take longer to save you know to save money or to get ahead in their own businesses because of the co the burden of this cost a lot of people in texas are uninsured still but a lot of people have gained health insurance through the affordable care act and wouldn't have health and access to health insurance otherwise no matter what happens at the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, almost all experts expect this case to get appealed to the Supreme Court, and it could take months before the Fifth Circuit reaches a final decision. Back to you. All righty, today was the day drug.